Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this vector problem, they tell us that Jack and Jill ran up the hill at 3 meters per second. The horizontal component of Jill's velocity vector was 2.5 meters per second. And for part A, we need to find what the angle of the hill was. And for part B, we need to find the vertical component of Jill's velocity. Let's draw a picture first off to kind of see what's going on here. So we have this is the hill. And they say that she was going up at 3.0 meters per second. In reality, this is really the velocity vector for her, but you get the idea. She's going up a hill at this speed. We need to figure out what this angle is right here. And we need to figure out what the vertical component is, y, of her velocity. So we'll call this vector, vector j for Jill. So we need to find the j sub y, or the vertical or y component to her velocity vector there. For part A, finding the angle of the hill. Oh, and there's one other thing that we forgot to label. We have 2.5 meters per second is given as the horizontal component of Jill's velocity vector. So now we have the adjacent, we want the angle, and we have the hypotenuse for this right triangle that we drew. So obviously you can see we'll be using cosine or the ka from Sokotoa. That stands for cosine of the angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. We want to solve for the angle. So we'll take the inverse cosine of both sides. So theta will be equal to inverse cosine of adjacent over hypotenuse. So theta will be equal to inverse cosine of the adjacent, which is 2.5 meters per second, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 3 meters per second. So let's get our calculator. We have the inverse cosine of 2.5 divided by 3 gives us an angle of 33.6. So we'll round that to 34 degrees. In part B, we need to find the vertical component of Jill's velocity. So this part right here that we already kind of talked about. This is the opposite to the angle. So we could use sine because we are looking for the opposite. We know the angle now and we have the hypotenuse. So we have sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. We want to isolate opposites. So we'll move h over by multiplying both sides of the equation by h. So opposite is equal to h times the sine of theta. So that will be equal to 3 meters per second times the sine of the angle, which we said was 34, but we'll use the exact, which was 33.56 degrees. So 3 times the sine of 33.56 gives us 1.65. So we'll round that to 1.7. So the opposite or vertical component is 1.7 meters per second. You could have also used Pythagorean's theorem and it will give you the exact same answer. We have one, two legs of the right triangle. So you could use a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. We'll say that b is what we're looking for, so we'll subtract a squared from both sides of the equation. So now b squared will be equal to c squared minus a squared. We want to isolate b, so we'll take the square root. So b is equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared. The square root of c we said is 3 meters per second will be squared, and then that will be minus by 2.5 meters per second squared. So we have the square root of 3 squared minus 2.5 squared gives us 1.7, or essentially the exact same answer. If we wouldn't have rounded above here, you would see that they would be literally the exact same values, which is pretty cool if you think about it. So which again, we have 1.7 meters per second, and it just confirms that we did our math correct.